Hello and welcome to Make It Today. Have you ever wondered what a hard drive is and what it does? What's with all the hype about the new SSDs? In today's episode, we'll explain the various different types of hard drives you can use for your computer. So you're going about your day-to-day -day life and realize that you've amassed a ton of CAD videos. What's the best way for you to store this massive information efficiently? Here's an example of the old type of hard drives. We call them PETA. This stands for Parallel ATA. You may see these types of drives on older computers. On the bottom, you'll notice multiple places to plug in. Here are the cables that connect to it. We call this one the PETA data cable, or ribbon cable. For power, it uses a standard Molex adapter, and that plugs in right here. Jumping forward in time a little bit, we see the hard drive that's commonly used today, and we call it the SATA drive, or serial ATA drive. The inputs for this drive are much smaller and don't have pins. Circled in red is a spot for power. Here are the data cables. This one we call the SATA power cable. Next, we have the position where the data cable plugs in, and you have the SATA data cable, which is significantly smaller than the last ribbon cable. Okay, so why are you wasting my time telling me all this? Or why is this so important? Well, first you have to understand what the difference between PETA and SATA is, or parallel and serial data transfer. Think of parallel ATA, or PETA, as a bunch of messengers lined up in a row. They're all coming together to tell the king an entire message, but in order for them to give him that message, they all have to arrive at the same time. If one gets there first, he has to wait for the others to catch up in order for the king to receive the entire message. Conversely, SATA is a method in which all of the data comes in a straight line. The first character gets to the king first, followed by the second, then the third, and so on and so on with as many characters as needed. No need to wait around for slowpokes to catch up. This results in PETA's being, being a max of 16 megabytes per second, dwarfed by today's SATA speeds, which can be a maximum of 600 megabytes per second. Of course, just because I say that's 600 megabytes max, that's the maximum that the method can transfer. Normal hard drives that we use today that are SATA typically can only max out at 175 megabytes, and the one that's in your computer right now probably maxes out at 80 megabytes per second. But we have invented a way to get more use out of that 600 megabyte maximum speed. Enter solid state drives. Solid state drives, as you might notice, are much thinner because they don't have a physical spinning disk inside of them. Here's its connectors, which fortunately is the exact same as the SATA hard drives, making it easy to switch between the two. Thanks to these new SSDs, you can go from the 80 megabytes that you're used to right now to a whopping 220 megabytes per second. But before you go out and buy yourself an SSD hoping to game at high speed, keep in mind these SSDs are phenomenally more expensive than their spinning disk counterparts, which is why you might want to store your terabytes worth of cat videos on the old SATA drives and your video games and operating system on the new SSD. So far, we've only covered desktop computer hard drives. There's still laptop hard drives, which can be those with a spinning disk or solid state drives, or they can be another type, which is called mSATA SSDs, which are much smaller. Then there's smartphones that have an internal memory or a micro SD card that you can add. Then you have cameras and game consoles and every other type of device that needs any type of data storage, big or small. I hope that gives you a little bit better understanding of the different types of hard drives you can choose for your application. Stay tuned for another video coming up on what these transfer speeds actually mean. Hit the like button if you like this video, and be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of our upcoming features. Thanks for watching a Make It Today educational video.